Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Guys on Beer, coming to you from National Mechanics in Old City, Philadelphia. I'm Johnny Bellotta. This is Dave wow, Monterana. This is Dave Monterana. And uh, we've had a couple of beers already. And uh, the couple of beers we have been having is the uh, the Great Lakes from Great Lakes Brewing Company in Cleveland, Ohio. This and is our last in the series. This is our last in the series, and it's so fitting that it is last because this is their flagship beer, their Dortmunder, uh, which is a Dortmunder style uh, beer made popular from the Dortmunder Union that came out of Germany. From uh, Dortmund, Germany. To Dortmund, Germany, to, uh, to really counteract the popularity of Pilsners. It there's not much to say beyond that. This style was created, and there was about seven or eight breweries that um, that basically all started at the same exact time, yep. brewing this in Dortmund, Germany, brewing this particular style of lager, and it just very quickly be got the name Dortmunder lager. Because it's from Dortmund, right? Exactly. <laughs> but it was a unique enough style. Like um, fancy. The basics of it are: um, it's clean, it's biscuity, uh, it, it's. It's drier than you're used to off yeah. of a lager. This isn't going to be like that crisp, wet kind or of whatever. A pilsner, yeah. But it, it tends, it, it's got like some of the flavors of a pilsner, but it, it, it's sort of dry and it ends, but it's got the bitterness of a pilsner. Now, this is their first beer that they ever brewed. First one. It was originally called the Heisman, and then they changed the name to the, to the, the Dortmunder. Dortmunder Gold. And since 1990, it has won 14 gold medals and one lowly silver. Yeah, Boo. At, the Great silver. <laughs> at the Great American Beer Fest in uh, the Great American Beer Fest and the, the World Beer Championships. So this is quite an award-winning beer. Probably more awards than any beer that we've ever tried on the show. I think so. Uh, other than the Flying Dog stuff, uh, or some of the Flying Dog and some of Sam Calgione's things from Dogfish Head, I think that this probably is one of the most consistent. Consistently winning Absolutely. beers we've had. You you have a very IPA profile, very close to an IPA profile on the nose of this beer. Um, it, you can smell a little bit of the hops, but you do smell some of that that sweet malt you're going to get off of this. And because it has its own, and because it's its own category, it's a lot lighter than a pilsner. Uh, it's not, I'm sorry, it's a lot darker than a pilsner. It's not as light as a pilsner. It's yeah, more it, golden. It's gold, exactly. Yeah. Well, hence Dortmunder gold. But right, it's, yeah. a, it's a gold nail. Yeah. yeah. Or a gold nail. But scent, scent smells gold great. Lighter. I mean, are, are you as excited to taste this as I am, Dave? Being that I've gone through a case of these in the past <laughs> yeah, week, yeah. Yeah, we really got to thank Mark Wyman from Great Lakes for Again. really hooking us up with a, with a, a the, we have a case of this at, at our office and it's been great. So I say we go taste it again. Now this is wow. This is an easy wow. drinker. This is a lager, 5.8% alcohol by volume, a little bit higher than a standard pilsner, but not by much. And you could pair this with a whole lot. That because would pair, yeah, it's, it's it's very versatile. Like the 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 malts are not overpowering, and neither the hops. No. Super nicely balanced, very sort of light, but not missing flavor. No. And a little bit drier and a little bit biscuitier. Yeah, biscuity -er. Yes, it's good. It was good. E R addition to right. biscuit. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I like to make up my own words. We all do, Dave. That's how the words get coined. Anyway, um, what I, what I really like about this, what it gives it gives to me, is that it's what you want a pilsner to taste like almost. Like when you have a pilsner, sometimes you want it to taste like this. Have a little bit more boldness on the front, a little bit more of the bitter on the back, but not so much. They really hold this back enough that. It's, it's totally accessible. They do, it really is. And you know, we've been talking about, uh, in, in some of the episodes recent past, we've been talking about Marzins and how accessible they are. This, has this is another lager that has it has certain similarities to a Marzin, but that accessibility is definitely there. Yeah, it, it certainly is. Now, something like this, I mean, parent, when it comes to foods and things like that, like lighter foods like salads and um, uh, some white flaky fish and things like that, really, really would complement this beer very well. This beer would complement them very well. But with the dryness, I think it might even be able to hold up to something like more pork chop like, you know, a little bit heavier. You're going to argue with me? How about oh, you argue no, with me about I'm the not... rating? I'm putting it at 95. That's how much I like this beer. Well, how, I'm not arguing, I'm suggesting. For Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
to be honest with you, this is the first of the Great Lakes beers that we've tried that I think would actually be a little bit better at a little bit cooler temperature yes. than we're tasting it because it is a, it is a lot. Yeah. Um, that said, this is one of the best lagers, especially in terms that, yeah. of balance, Absolutely. that I've ever had. 94 for me. This is why this is their flagship beer. This is why it's won so many awards. And, you know, what a great beer to end our Great Lakes Week off. I really think that it is. So if you have tried this, please let us know. Go check us out on all of our websites through Twitter. You can check it out through Facebook. You can uh, get in contact with us on our website. That our, uh, just say contact when you go to our website. And, um, yeah, I'd like to thank Great Lakes for giving us this chance to put this series out. Absolutely. That's in the mechanics as well. Um, so for two guys on beer, I'm Johnny Bellotta. I'm Dave Moderano. Go enjoy some beer. Oh, Papa, look at me. Papa, Papa, look at me. Look what you're